Good evening. Welcome back to Argyle TV. You join us here at Home Park. Lovely, sunny Home Park tonight. And we are back after 73 days away. A new season now beginning at the Theatre of Greens. Three points for Argyle. Put Argyle on the attack. It's a target, Argyle. Have a second go. Argyle's talisman. We are Argyle. Hello, how have you been? Welcome back to Argyle TV. New season. Enjoying the sun, I hope. Those 73 days feel like a long time ago, but now we are back for a brand new run at Argyle TV. I am Erin Black, back again, and today is the first of two pre-season fixtures here at Home Park before we kick off officially on July the 30th for that game against Barnsley starting the 22-23 Sky Bet League One campaign. Today, though, it's all about pre-season, and for the next 30 minutes, we will be building up to our friendly against Swansea City. We're going to be hearing from the manager about how the preseason has gone so far. We'll find out what the new signings are like. And we will also look back at the Greens trip to Marbella. And we're going to be doing all of that in the company of the one and only Ian Stonebridge. Ian, how are you doing this evening? Good, thanks, Erin. Yeah. It's a nice day to come back, isn't it? It's not bad at all. Yeah, get get your exercise in early in the day. I think it's the key. And yeah. then try not to sweat as much yes, as possible. Yes. <laughs> and uh, how have you been since we last saw you on Argyle TV? Have you had a nice summer so far? Yeah, Oh, I'm glad you said so far because uh, I guess for the footballers that's <laughs> it, isn't it? It's all it's all over. But um, no, it's been been good. I've got lots of work to do at home, so sitting in front of the computer and then getting outside when I can. Bit of yeah. exercise here, here and there. So yeah. And how much are you personally looking forward to the new season starting? Yeah, it's it's exciting. I think it's always. Um, this time of the season in particular where you've got new players coming into the squad to see you know how they're going to fit into the system that, that Argyle have um, is really intriguing and, and you know Swansea tonight is obviously a, a big team coming down it'll be a, a really good test yeah and we'll be looking at some of the new names in a minute and catching up with everyone um, nice to see fans starting to fill up the stadium as well it's always a familiar sight isn't it and I'm sure it's one that both we and the players look forward to seeing here in Plymouth yeah, it's, I think for the fans as well, it's that, that first opportunity to see what, what kind of is considered a proper pre-season game here. Yeah. You know, with, with, as we said, a big club coming in. Yeah. It's, it's great to see. Yeah. yeah, And everyone, even though the, get, the season's not officially started, everyone's rocked up in the new kit as far as I can see as well, which is great too. Okay, right. Now, we mentioned the weather, obviously, and you would be forgiven for thinking that we are in the south of Spain right now uh, with the warm weather we've been enjoying, but uh, not to be. However lucky for some the Argyle squad have been over in Marbella enjoying the weather last week they uh, had their week-long training camp so we better have a little look at what they got up to
In all seriousness, though, it did look like a tough week away. And if you want a more in-depth look back at what happened, then head over to Argyle TV uh, on the Argyle website for a day-by-day -day blow hosted by none other than our very own Charlie Price. Uh, there's also daily blogs and podcasts on there, too, for you to enjoy as well. Ian, how many of these kind of trips did you go on? Yeah, a few, actually. So I think um, with the benefit of our, our Scottish manager, we went to Scotland twice for pre-season, right <laughs> in peak mid-season, which, which was great fun. <laughs> no, not quite. Dundee, I think it was. Okay. Um, and then to Austria a couple of times, oh, which, nice. again, was, was really nice. And I think, you know, the, the change of scenery is really beneficial at that time yeah. of the year. But particularly, you know, going somewhere like Spain, the weather must be so hot. Is that kind of difficult to... It, you know, work in those conditions? It is, but I think you, you often kind of find that even in this country at this time of year, it's, it's pretty warm as we're getting at the moment. So in terms of pre-season work, it, I think it almost feels the same wherever you are. It's going to be hard. There's going to be high, high intensity sessions, that, you know, to build fitness in coming into the season. So, yeah. you know, uh, and, and any matches that you have are likely to be in those similar conditions as well. So yeah. it's beneficial for fitness. And as a player, I think it's just something that you, you've got to get through you know, for the benefit of getting in that team at the start of the season. Yeah, and I mean, you mentioned as well, like having the change of scenery in the break. I suppose it's probably quite good for some of the newer players coming in as well and like integrating with the existing squad. Definitely, and I think that's the that's the main thing. In fact, you know, the fitness can happen anywhere. You know, you can you can run in Saltram Woods, can't you? You can go up to Flimbridge, you know, which we always all did in the past. Um, but it's that intensive time where you're away from everything else. You know, the time you know around meals and perhaps a couple of opportunities to socialise as well. Um, you know, to, to really bed those players in, and I think you know, hopefully that will show um, in the team as we see it develop. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Now, before we hear from the manager about today's game, let's have a little look through the side that he selected for tonight's match, which me and Ian had a quick, quick little look at over. Some new names in there, aren't there, Ian? Um, let's run through while the graphics are on screen for you now. So in goal this evening, Callum Burton. We've also got Macaulay Gillespie, Jordan Houghton, James Wilson, Dan Scar, Matt Butcher, Joe Edwards, captain, Danny Mayer, Niall Ennis, Mikkel Miller, and Alfie Lewis. Now, three technically new names in the starting lineup, two of which are, are newer signings. How do you think that will play out this evening? Yeah, I think it's, I'm really interested to see the start of the game because I think, you know, the, the players that have come in and the, the team that's been named, there's quite a bit of flexibility in terms of how it could line up. Now, you know, we obviously expect to see the three at the back that we're used to from Argyle, but in terms of how that will um, actually you know, the players will fit into that system. I think that's that's something that we'll find out at kickoff. You know, there's a, there's obviously some some of those newer signings that are coming into, to, and they've got lots of versatility. So, yeah. you know, the capability to play those different positions does mean it's harder for us to guess exactly where they're going to be at this point yeah. in, in the evening. Yeah. And Alfie Lewis has been with the club for a little while, but we've not seen him actually play competitively yet, have we? So that will be nice, I guess, for fans to see what he can, can bring to the pitch. And then, of course, we've got the other two new signings there and more on the bench. Um, Finn is as, as well as one to mention. And we've got a couple of the young players as well on the bench, too. What do you think that will mean for them starting this season like that? I think, you know, the thinking back to when I played in these these preseason games and you often get, you know, some bigger teams coming to, to the club for those those um, those games at this period. So um, for those players, it's a great chance to kind of test yourself against opposition who are often in different divisions, sometimes you know you get Premier League clubs down here at this time of the year, and Swansea are you know a club that have been up and around there in recent years. So yeah. for those new players in particular, and for Alfie Lewis, who's not had the chance to perhaps show what he can do yet, you know he'll be itching to get out there and get on the ball, I'm sure, and and, and put on a show. And and yeah, for those young players, they'll be they'll be on that bench really excited <laughs> about the prospect of getting on the pitch, I think. And and hopefully we see a few of them tonight. Yeah. Does it take the pressure off a tiny bit with it being a pre-season match rather than coming kind of straight out or guns blazing first game of the season? I think it does, but. Again, if you think about those younger players in particular, for them, it, this this could be one of the biggest occasions they've been involved with yet. You know, to have a you know a big club like Swansea, and then you know hopefully a good few thousand in the ground tonight. Um, it's a, it's it's a huge occasion for them, so something they'll be really looking forward to, I'm sure. Yeah, absolutely. Now let's hear from the main man himself, then Stephen Schumacher, who spoke to Argyle TV yesterday afternoon. Yeah, uh, we're back in the UK. We've got a game tomorrow. Uh, it all comes. Taken fast, doesn't it? Now at this stage of the season, um, how are we looking ahead? Cool. Okay, the, the weather feels like we're still in Spain. <laughs> today was um, was roasting on a training pitch today, so uh, it was a good session. We worked for a bit longer than what we normally would because the lads obviously didn't train Saturday or Sunday, so they've had a couple of days off, if you like, and we've done a little bit more 
in preparation for Swansea and and yet it'll obviously be a tougher test than our, our last game. Yeah, exactly. It will be, you know, the top opposition. We played them this time last year, didn't we? And it was and it was a good game. Um, what are you hoping to kind of get out of this one? Um, to be tested defensively. So we know Sw- Swansea are you know, a heavily possession-based football team. They've got real quality players with, with good movement. So it gives us something to think about defensively. We have to be organised when we haven't got the ball and aggressive when we haven't got the ball and then have a plan when we do nick it to go and counter attack and break so hopefully we see some opportunities for us to do that tomorrow. No chance for Matt Butcher and Mikhail Miller potentially to see what it's like to play out on that pitch out there. Home yeah. yeah well the pitch is looking unbelievable yeah. so the lads have started marking it um, today and mm-hmm. start putting the lines on and if it starts feeling real then the, the season's almost there when you can see the pitch coming in so mm-hmm. yeah Mikhail and Butch will We'll love playing in front of fans. I'm sure there'll be there'll be a few in because yeah. everyone will be especially if the weather's nice. We'll want to get out and watch some good football. So yeah, hopefully it's a good night. You mentioned the weather. I mean, normally we'd be saying it could be a hot one tomorrow, but what the guys went through last week, they're yeah. probably going to be acclimatised. A little bit. Um, give them some some good experience of it because last Tuesday, I say, was absolutely scorching as well, and and, it, and that's why we go to them types of places to get that exposure. And, and yeah, hopefully tomorrow we'll. Um, We'll be okay dealing with the hot conditions, and I'm sure we'll have to do a little bit more defending tomorrow than we did last week. So it'll be a tough test. Have you noticed anything today, you know, in in the group and the way they're kind of interacting that has changed from from because of last week? Potentially, are they feeling a little bit closer, a little bit tighter? I, I don't know. I, I think the, the group was already. We only added a couple of new players into it, so they already know each other really well. Um, hopefully we're going to add a few more fresh faces in the next few days and the upcoming days and and yeah it's just all building aren't we for getting into the season so what I will say we've got a better understanding from last week of how we're going to play this year um, we've got a little bit more knowledge of what it looks like when in our attacking patterns of play especially the new players understand what we're going to do and then tomorrow and, and say all this week the focus is on trying to get our defensive organisation right so we're in good shape in, in good shape I think just finally, how much are you looking forward to getting back on the touchline at home park? Yeah, great. Um, can't wait. Obviously, the last time we were out there, it wasn't a great day. So, hopefully, put that one to bed and um, and yeah, and enjoy it. Good to see all the fans again. Um, good to get back out on the grass. Um, the, as I say, the pitch is looking unbelievable. Can't wait. And, and yeah, hopefully, it's a good night. Now, three new players have come through the door here at Home Park. We've talked about them briefly already, but they are Finn Azaz, who yesterday joined Matt Butcher and Mikel Miller as the trio of new boys here. We're going to be hearing more from Finn at halftime, but right now, let's find a little bit more out about Matt and Mikel. Seems good, man. New beginnings, um, excited. Yeah, and just want to get going to be fair. Starting on league, don't know if you know that. Uh, I was at Carshorton, then I went from Carshorton all the way up to Scotland at Hamilton. And then from Hamilton I went to Rotherham, and then from Rotherham to Argyll. So you've kind of been all over it. Yeah, yeah man, travelling on that. <laughs> <laughs> when you're at Carshorton, obviously getting that, that move out of non-league into the SPL, what was that like for you? Because that must have... That must have been quite a big moment for you, I presume. Yeah, it was big for me because obviously I've never moved away from home before then. So going up there, obviously it was a first, it was a shock because like no mummy, you know, cooking, no, no, I don't do that myself. So yeah, so that was a shock, but got used to it. And then so like that helped with me coming down here because I've gone further. So yeah, I knew I, I can do it. I'm a tricky wing back, winger. Uh, I like supporting like the strikers, giving them some crosses to feed from and yeah, hopefully grabbing some goals myself. I think even when I was on loan at Northampton, I played against them. And I just like, like everyone knows that you got to play a lot of good, good football. So for me, obviously that suits me. So I'm hoping to just come in and like fit in with the boys and hopefully, yeah, I won't look out of place. Speaking to the manager, um, and I obviously know the assistant well from playing with him um, and their kind of um, thoughts and ambitions um, really mirrored mine and that was important. Um, I've obviously played against the club and um, seen how well supported it is and um, even the away support was, was amazing when they come up to, um, come up to Accrington last season. 
Um, and it's always been a dream to play for a, a big club and uh, yeah, just can't wait to get started now. Played in a couple of positions in midfield. I think I can, um, I can play in various systems um, and I'm a player that kind of um, plays with a lot of energy, likes to get around the pitch um, and hopefully can chip in um, with help and uh, scoring and assisting goals. Yeah, I was looking through a highlight reel of some of your performances before doing this. Obviously, there was one goal in particular which was a left-footed banger into the top corner. Expect a few more of those. Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 you've set, uh, set me up high there. <laughs> um, yeah, hopefully, um, I've always been someone um, that likes to can find a yard and, and, and get a shot off. Um, I spoke to manager, and I think that's something I can improve on. Um, kind of arriving on things and, and, and little finishes and stuff. So um, if I can improve on that, then um, I'll always back myself to kind of um, be involved in um, shots on target and stuff like that. Obviously, grew up in Portsmouth and watched a lot of um, Matty Taylor, the left, left footer. Um, well, he scored some good goals. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So if I can copy him, that'll be right. Um, growing up, obviously, getting a bit older, um, you look at people like Lampard that could score that many goals from midfield. Um, um, he was obviously a big, um, a big part of my childhood, watching him and seeing how he gets into the box, seeing how he arrives on things, types of finishes, stuff like that. Um, so them two are the probably main ones growing up um, who I looked up to. Style of play was obviously a big um, kind of drawing point uh, for me. Um, they get into great pockets and, uh, and the midfield work well together. Um, and it was quite difficult to kind of pick up men in pockets like um, hopefully I can do um, on the opposing team rather than uh, trying to chase around, uh, trying to stop that. So it was obviously tough um, games against them. We haven't had too much joy um, when we've come here, which is another thing. Um, obviously want to be part of a successful team. And, um, and, and, and yeah, hopefully we can do that this season. Some of our new signings there. Mixed difficulty question, Ian, seeing as one of them uh, only joined yesterday. But of, of those two players, Matt and Mikel, what have you made of the new signings so far? Yeah, I think they're, you know, of, of a calibre. They've got a fair bit of experience, you know, at, at this level already. Uh, obviously, Mikel playing at, at this level for, for Rotherham and having significant success you know, in, in recent times. So you know, they're, they're both players who definitely have the potential to be challenging for that, that starting 11 for Argyle. Um, again, their, their versatility, I think both of them have the ability to play in a number of different positions. So again, it will be interesting tonight and then through the rest of the season to see where, where they end up um, yeah. having most of their involvement. Yeah, so of course the benefit of these pre-season games and it being the start of a new season, nothing set in stone, is it? This, you know, people can be moved around depending on where they fit best with the team. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm, I'm sure that's part of um, the management and the coaching staff's thinking in that, you know, signing players who have that capability to fill in in a number of different roles. You know, we've, we've seen a fairly, a fairly uh, you know, unchanging system over the last couple of years with, yeah. with Argyle in terms of the system that they play. So, you know, it's it's more about play, it's signing players who have the capability to fit into that rather than, you know, signing a, a player who and then trying to work out where they're going to play. So, yeah, yeah it would be great great tonight to see those those new players. And as we said, they'll be they'll be itching to get um, involved in, in, in the game tonight and put on a good show. Yeah, and of course, up against Swansea this evening. So we better have a quick look at the team. Ian, you know a little bit more about this than I do because you are actually friends with Russell Martin, the manager. Um, so just talk me through what we can expect from Swansea this evening. Yeah, I think, you know, um, we've seen in, in recent years, certainly the, the, the approach and the philosophy that, that Russell brings to his teams. He was at MK Dons um, before he went to Swansea. You know, he's, he's very big on on passing out from the back you know I think he, he's admitted that he's almost has this a utopian ideal of how to play football so we'll certainly see that from them tonight um, good chance for Argyle to work on their their ability to press and to yeah. recognize when to try and win the ball back but yeah Swansea uh, my guess is they'll look to dominate possession and, and and again looking at the names on the team sheet you know uh, Matt Grimes Michael Oberfemi Joel Pirro there this is a this is a first choice Swansea team from what we can tell at this stage in the season. So again, yeah. it's going to be a huge test for Argyle. Should be an interesting game. Absolutely. We look forward to it. And stay tuned on Argyle TV because we will have the rest of the match coming up very shortly. But for now, it is time to hand over to our commentary team in just a second. So the next voices you will be you will hear will be those of Katie Middleton and Charlie Price. Enjoy. What a difference a year makes.
Before I signed here, I thought I had an idea, but the reality has been something else. On the field, off the field, on our day, this club is a match for anyone. Limbs at the bridge. First ball, watch for Jeff Gott to be on the end of a second. Oh, it's one there! Chelsea are behind to lead one Plymouth. Macaulay Gillespie, the big centre-back, glancing it in. Unforgettable. It's in my blood, it's a massive part of me, all my life. Nothing makes me prouder than the academy lads coming through. And we're only getting started. Argyle has given me everything. It's my hometown club. We'll feel it when the fans chant your name. We roll with the punches. We take pride in the shirt. We prove people wrong. Next up in 23rd spot is Plymouth Argyle. <laughs> We take risks. We leave it all out there. We are Argyle. Yes, hello, welcome back to Home Park. And what a, a perfect setting it is as well, 73 days since that final game of the season against MK Dons which I'm sure we have all forgotten about it's a brand new season it's a brand new looking home park as well with the new seats in the Lindhurst stand and we're all getting rather excited again for another Skybet League One campaign now 